In this video, we will see how to calculate NDWI in QGIS. NDWI means normalized difference water index. It is calculated uh, using green and near infrared band. The formula is green minus near infrared divided by green plus near infrared. In this video, we will use Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. Uh, for Sentinel-2 satellite imagery, calculation of NDWI is band 3 minus band 8 divided by band 3 plus band 8. Here band 3 is green band and band 8 is near infrared band. So let's get started. First, import the image, go to browser, and import the imagery. Our image has been imported. This is a Sentinel-2 imagery. It has been downloaded using uh, Google Earth Engine. If you want to know how to download satellite image easily uh, with Google Earth Engine, you can watch this video. Let's uh, go to the properties of this image and go to Symbology. Here we can see the band information. For Sentinel-2, band 4 is red band, band 3 is green band, and band 2 is blue band. We have another band in this image. If we click on the red, we can see all four bands. The first band is red, second one B3 is green, and third one is blue. And the fourth one that we are not using in this three band, that is band 8, near infrared band. We need this band to calculate NDWI. Now let's see how to calculate the NDWI. For that, go to raster and raster calculator. Here you can see that we have uh, four, all four bands. Uh, number one is red, two is green, three is blue, and four is near infrared. Uh, we need green and near infrared. So let's write the equation. First green minus near infrared and divided by green plus near infrared. This is the equation. Uh, you can uh, write the equation from keyboard and also by clicking on the mouse from these operations. Uh, we cannot click the OK button because we didn't uh, mention the output. Let's create on the fly raster instead of writing la layer to disk. Click on this. So temporary layer will be created and click on OK. And it is done. Our NDWI is calculated. Now let's do some symbology to make it look nice. Go to properties, symbology, and uh, from render type go to single band pseudo color. And here, uh, let's change the mode from continuous to equal interval. And in classes, let's put here three. And let's change the color. The water body should be higher values, so 
basically black watercolor and middle one green looks okay and this one maybe light yellow okay let's see how it looks well here the watercolor has been changed to green let's use four classes and use another watercolor and see how it looks now it looks much better we can also go for another class Okay. Let's make one more class. We can change this value as well. Let's see how it looks if we change the value. 0 0.32, let's make it 0.5. color let's change to something darker okay and trace apply and okay now it looks much better now let's turn off this and see how looks You can see that blue is a water body and it is seen clearly. Thanks for watching.